guys, I'm a blonde again and I finally feel like myself. Don't ever let me dye my hair dark again. My hairdresser told me I was gonna hate it and he was right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say it right now. Calvin, you were right. You told me I was wrong. I hated dark hair and I'm holding all of you guys accountable not to let me do anything foolish like that ever again. channel welcome if you're new my name is Kristen and today I'm continuing the tour of magical places here in Los Angeles and I am at the LA Contemporary Modern Art Museum it's known as LACMA and I am at this really cool outdoor installation called Urban Lights and in today's video I'm going to talk about what to do if you are working on healing something emotionally, physically, spiritually, mentally, and it doesn't seem to be healing the way that you thought it would. Okay, so first let me show you where I am. And this um, exhibit, this installation has been featured in a lot of movies, so you might recognize it. I was just talking to the security guard and he told me that half a million people um, come to this exhibit every year. So let's walk through these urban lights and we will talk about what to do if something's not healing. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna talk about if something is not healing or if it just seems to be coming back on you or reoccurring. Typically, if that is the case, that means that there is karma attached to whatever is happening. And if there is karma attached, sometimes it takes its course. It is, um, it is so deep in the layers of ancestry, genetic line, and it can be what I call invisible karma, which means that it's deep in the subconscious and it's a pattern that is invisible and is playing itself out, but yet we're not able to see it. So if it is karmic and it isn't healing, that simply means it's not done yet. What it doesn't mean is that you've done something wrong or you're being punished. It simply means the karma hasn't run its course. And the next thing that I wanna talk about is if something physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually isn't budging, if it is even maybe intensifying when you go to self-heal, work with a healer, or go to see a therapist, there is a blessing in that heartbreak or in that pain that you haven't discovered yet. And when you discover the blessing, when you discover the gift, when you can change the perception of what's occurring, then the healing can commence. And the next thing that I wanna talk about is taking your attention off of the healing. So sometimes we've gotta take our attention off of what we're healing. And I've had to do this in my own life, where I was focused so much on the healing that it was actually making the heartbreak or the quote unquote problem bigger. And so coming to a place like this, 
coming to a magical place that takes you out of your comfort zone, that takes you out of your day-to-day -day life, that takes your attention completely off of what you're healing, can allow the energy to start to move. So Law of Attraction says whatever we put our attention on will grow. And so, of course, processing through our emotions, working through heartbreak, working through things that we perceive as problems in our life, when we take our attention off of them, sometimes that's what we need, sometimes that's what is required to actually let the healing work do its job, to let the energy move. Okay, so the security guard that I have been talking to just came up to me and told me that a guy here saw me and called me a 10 and he corrected him and told him I was a 15. So we're going to go say thank you to him. Thank you so much. Thank you. You want to say hi? What? With a per Oh, okay. Say that one more time. You're at least a 10, 10, 10 plus. <laughs> okay, thank you. The personality counts for a lot more, oh, right? Thank you, yeah. Okay, thank you. Have a great night. Yeah, Bye, guys. And see, when you're being your true, authentic self, you attract such magical experiences. Okay. And I feel like my true, authentic self right now, even though this under eye is a little weird right now. So ignore the powder under there. Okay, so I want to show you the top of these. Thank you so much for coming to LACMA with me tonight. I hope you enjoyed the Urban Lights installation and it will heal. That's what I want everybody to know. It will heal. Simply by your intention to heal the heartbreak, to heal the emotional pain, to heal yourself physically, simply by holding that intention, that grid will fill in. And you don't need to know the next steps. You don't need to know every single detail of how it's going to heal. Simply holding the intention, taking your attention off of it sometimes by coming to a magical place, doing something outside your comfort zone can allow the energy to move and allow healing to commence. So true healing is a change, is a shift in perception. And so I just hope um, that you can keep that in mind and allow your perception, allow yourself to change the way you're viewing your healing. Sending you lots of love. Namaste everybody, bye-bye.